Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 VR Modded Survival. So we're here in the Institute, and uh, there is one thing we can do, but I've been thinking. We've been rushing along with our uh, in-game stuff, but there's other stuff we really could do. And um, basically, what I want to do is uh, I want to get all the settlements, and I want to get them hooked up to uh, work uh, to supply lines. And basically, now that we can teleport, it's really no big deal that we could do it pretty easily. So I think we're just going to go marching, and we're just going to get the rest of the settlements. Such as this one. And that place is still on fire. I guess it'll always be on fire then. That's interesting. You'd think it would go out sooner or later, but... Yeah, so we took the castle. It's here. And they're happy. But if you look over there, there's an island. What? We got the... Oh, okay. Uh, John was pulled out to sea. The fish was huge. I told him not to tell the pole to himself, but he wouldn't listen. If only he hadn't put the keys in his pocket. I don't know if that means you can go find something or what, but it's, uh, not on the list for, uh, you know, 100% of, uh, collecting stuff, so. Yeah, so you go here, and there's a bunch of Mirelurks, and you can kill them, but basically, you just have to kill this one particular Mirelurk. Not that one. Or that one. With all the Meyer lurks. <laughs> yeah, you go over here. And you flip this switch. And that wakes up a uh, queen. But we can handle that, no problem. And then you go to the uh, shack. And then you flip this switch. And you hear this awful noise, which means you did it correctly. And if you're quick, you can kill a whole bunch of, uh, Mirelurks. And assuming that you killed all the enemies, then you can use the workshop. So I'll just scrap everything here. Um, there's a few little things to find around the island, little stories to be told and stuff, but we don't care about that. I'm not going to show that here. I'm just collecting the settlements. So that's all there is to see here. And we can't really build anything here yet because, um, we're not connected to a supply line, so we'll have to send a robot here to get started. But on to the next one. Over there, I guess. I believe that's the Warwicks, and I think that they actually won't let us be friends yet because... You have to get the quest from Garvey, or you have to get it from the Institute. But we can say hello. It's the Warwick Homestead. So I guess we have to talk to Junie or something? I'm sorry, but yep, things are difficult is. right now. Uh, give me a quest. Hey. Got a few things for trade, if you're interested. Not Lord really. knows it wasn't always that way. Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Yeah. Some super mutants came through and tore the place up. We damn near starved to death. Anyway... Things are better now. Just look at the place. We've got everything we need. I'll say this. If you want to start up a farm out here, you better be ready to fight for it. The important things are always worth fighting for. You're right about that. The only thing more important to me than this farm is my family. How about you? Got any family yourself? I used to. But not anymore. Oh, I I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have asked. I hope I haven't reopened any old wounds. Well, you should be. <laughs> That's pretty damned insensitive. You're absolutely right. Yeah, fuck Let you. Let me make it up to <laughs> you, okay? Here, take this. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one conversation. I did enjoy talking with you, though, and I hope you'll visit again. Take care. Is that all we can do? Um, this guy? Don't think I've seen you around here before. You new to these parts? Oh, huh. Sort of. It's complicated. Well, that's none of my business. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? It might not look like much. And there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage plant. The most fertile soil in the Commonwealth is right under our feet. Now, what are your crops are doing so well? Yep. They really are. I have to admit. I feel lucky to even be having this conversation. We fell on some hard times not long ago. A pack of super mutants hit us and wrecked our entire crop. Used to be the Minutemen would have helped us out, but 
Last I heard, they were too busy fighting each other to worry about us farmers. So we were on our own. All of us starving, near to death. No man should have to watch his wife and children suffer. You know what I mean? Those days are over. The Minutemen are back, and we won't let you down again. No offense, but I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, feel free to have a look around, yeah? We got some stuff for trade, if you're interested. My wife June handles that. The kids are Janie and Wally. They're always curious about visitors, but they should stay out of your way. It's been real good talking to you. I hope you'll come see us again sometime. Yeah, they don't have a problem right now, so we have to wait until um, they get attacked by super mutants or something. There's Cricket. We already bought everything we need from her. So otherwise, there's this one. <laughs> Eager Tours Marina. So this place has a resident. But uh, she doesn't count on the uh, meter, so it won't uh, affect your maximum population. It's and there's a bunch of um, landmines around here, and if you leave them live, then uh, settlers will blow themselves up occasionally uh, until uh, <laughs> until you get them all. And there's a magazine, Wasteland Survival Guide. Hell yeah! I think that's all the landmines and junk. So let's go talk to her. Kid, I don't know who you are. But you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. Go haywire? What do you mean? It means I'm a synth, you numbskull. And if you don't take off, I'm liable to put a hole in your head. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackouts. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do and... One more dead fool. Don't now, turn your head. Are you gonna get out of here or wait for them to make me kill you? There's gotta be more to this. What happened to make you think you're a synth? Look, you're taking a risk staying here to talk to me. But if that's what it'll take to get you to leave, my grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I was on watch one night. I... I don't... I'm sitting there with a gun across my knees, looking out over the hill, and... And, and I think I fell asleep. It, it, it's just blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of it. And Samuel is at my feet, and there's blood everywhere. Was anyone else there? Could it have been raiders? No. When they heard the shot, everyone came running out. But no one saw anyone else but me and Samuel. One moment he was there, and then the next... just gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand. And it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. I saw my husband killed. My son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand how you feel. I... I, I didn't... I hope you find him. Family is the only thing worth a damn in this world. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here. And why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth, and I can't be trusted. Maybe you are a synth. That doesn't mean you can't change. Don't you get it, kid? I'm too dangerous. I'll just end up hurting someone else. We need good people for the Minutemen. It won't change the past, but maybe you can help some people. You'd still ask for my help, knowing what I've done? I don't know. Let me think about it. Look, I... 
I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened. And I can't keep running from it. I think she's protected, so I don't think she can get killed by raiders or anything. But basically, the important thing to know is that she doesn't count as a person. People zero. She can just stay here and it won't affect anything. And I guess I'm overweight. Just do whatever you came here to do and get the hell out of here. And, and stay uh, out of my stuff. Yeah, you can get uh, another conversation if you look in that terminal. But um, I don't care. Same thing here. I'm just going to junk everything. And because we don't have a supply line set up, we can't really build anything. But um, I guess I'll drop my junk off. It's really heavy. Uh, what am I carrying? Oh, I'm carrying all the <laughs> power armor. Oops. Yeah, and Maxon's coat. Yeah, so we'll come back here to uh, build the defenses and stuff. Oh, and we can um, get this one now. Yeah, let's go talk to Kessler. Wherever she is. You're not Kessler. She's wearing like a hood or something. Okay. <laughs> There's still dead guys around. Okay, Mr. Stockton is back. Um, I need to talk to Kessler. Deb is here. Yeah, anyway, you gotta talk to Kessler. And then you can build here. I guess I'll come back in the morning. Seriously, where is she? Mind. Hi, I'm Meg. You new to the- What? Nope, walked too far away. Lost forever. Well, hello. Hi, I'm oh. Meg. You new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. <laughs> um, I think she's essential, so she couldn't have I'm died. It she usually hangs out right around here. There's a robot here? You can't go in here. Well, I mean, I can go here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're Kessler. Listen, Bunker Hill doesn't want any trouble. You have some seriously powerful friends. If it'll keep us on their good side, consider yourself to have the run of the place. And the next time you need something, just ask, all right? We can now use the workshop. Great. So we'll send a robot here to um get all of our materials so we can build. So I think that basically does it. Uh, we just need to talk to Garvey until we can get the quest to uh, get Warwick. So I guess let's talk to Garvey and we'll do whatever he wants and eventually we'll get Warwick. Yeah, actually we could take Garvey with us if uh, we don't get this right away. And we didn't. Hey there. The Brotherhood taken out. The Institute sure doesn't do anything halfway, do they? You sure that was the right choice? Siding with the Institute? Sean was right. The Institute is the best hope for the future. I hope you're right. In any case, what's done is done. We'll just have to figure out how to live with this new world you've created. Thank <laughs> you. It's like I can finally think straight. No more cows and no it's a brave new world. Either. Hey. Is there something you need? Yeah. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. You're the only one the who can give me these quests. On own now. Thanks to you. All right, so we'll just keep doing these Metaman quests until uh, eventually Warwick will come up and we can uh, get it. But first, we have to defend Covenant, which um, I guess we never uh, put any defense there. Whoops. This place seems to be doing all right on its own. Makes you wonder what kind of deals they Cow, do. don't go that way. All right, we'll just do it ourselves. Cow. Dang it, cow. Ah! We're all gonna die because of Cal. Okay. Travel to Covenant. Well, we're here. Oh, you gotta talk to this guy. Hello. You're with the Minutemen, right? Yep. That's right. What's the trouble here? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a flying leap. Now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. But they didn't seem too impressed. Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Oh, I have to do this? I don't think we've met. What can I do to help out? Nothing. Not right now. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so we have to build defenses. I don't think they're on the supply line, because I just haven't got around to it. No, they're not. So, like, um, uh, I can't build the defenses that I want to. So I guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to relay to uh, the Mechanist Lair, switch to flat, Build robots to go every which way, and then come back, and we'll do this. Relaying, because it doesn't take any time. 
All right, so switching to flat. Oh, they're on a supply line because I can't even send a robot over there. So it just doesn't look like it on the map. Oh, well, since I'm in flat, I'll build these robots and send them out. Uh, home plate is supposed to have a uh, Jezebel, actually. So the Institute's won. Rumor going around is that it's all thanks to you. I suppose you're proud of yourself. Yep. Um. We've secured the Institute's future. You bet I'm proud of that. Oh, yeah? And what about the Commonwealth's future? You know what this means, right? It means people getting snatched in the night. Neighbors turning on each other. And no one left to stop them. Do you really think that's what the Commonwealth needs? It's not like that. Um. Is there anything I can say to convince you that this was the right choice? I seriously doubt it. Because this new world you've created? I'm not sure what kind of chance it's got. Yeah. Okay, well, Piper hates us forever. And uh, that's fine. You need to talk to me? I'm kind of busy right now, actually. Yeah, we don't need this bench here anymore. Let's just uh, store this. And uh, Jezebel, wherever she went. I'm going to move you to the Mechanist Lair. You're going to be the uh, facility going to home plate. And for some reason, Eager Tours is still available. So we need to find Eager Tours Marina, which I guess is back at uh, the Mechanist Lair. So we didn't get to uh, have all of our dialogue with Piper because we haven't finished Subversion. But uh, later on, then she'll stop being such a Debbie Downer. But uh, for now, <laughs> it stops there just like that. Uh, you are actually meant to go to Eager Tours, Eager Tours Marina. Yeah, you do that. All right, so um, let's head back into VR. Yeah, they have a supply line. Uh, let's uh, relay in. Yeah, so from the time that you start helping the Institute until uh, you actually become the leader of the Institute, then uh, all of your friends um, think you're a douchebag, basically. And it makes sense. But there's more things we can tell Piper that'll perk her right up, and we just can't say them yet. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. Um, I didn't ask your opinion. Okay, so what we want to do here, we want to basically put guns on the outside, and, um, you know, I think I haven't done it before, but I'm going to try using the wall mount ones. And, um, I mean, it would make more sense to put the ceiling mount, but these things are cool because they can go directly on the wall. And, uh, I think this one can shoot mostly to the left, but it can also shoot straight forward, I think. So, like, if we had, like, this, and, uh, no, we don't want that. That thing sucks. Assaultron, this is terrible. Don't use that. Wall right, but... Yeah, Heavy Institute. Definitely Heavy Institute. That's the best. Or actually, you know, maybe we should put this over here. Uh, so they have convergence. Yeah, and then on this side, we'll put one of these. But they don't actually work yet. So we need electricity, which I think... Did we wire this thing up? We sure didn't. But we have electricity. So let's put some wires down. This was a disaster. I'm starting to think we would have been better off just giving them what they wanted. What? Did it happen before I got here? That's not good. We're only gone for a minute. Okay, so now they have lots of defense. It didn't say I failed anything. I have to talk to Preston. Hey. Point it out. Got anything else for me, Garvey? I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. Oh, need they got- settlements supporting our cause. Okay, because I walked away, and even though I was gone for only two minutes, it failed. I guess stuff is randomly broken, but I don't see anything broken. But just to be sure, and uh, that guy's really pissed off, I guess. Let's just uh, repair everything. I don't see anything that's damaged. Yeah, nothing, nothing was damaged, so it didn't matter. And that guy was being a sour Sally for no reason. <laughs> uh, now we have to go over here for some reason. Okay, you're definitely well defended. Hey, please tell me someone's gonna attack. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies and threatening us. Oh, but we have to go there. We know where okay. they're coming. Yep. All right, I'll Don't do worry. it. Don't worry. Sure thing. I'll take care of them. I hope so. All right, so we got to go to Backstreet and kill everyone, which I am a killing specialist, so that's no problem. What? <laughs> you have any more stories like that? And the loot respawn so we can pick up some 
Shit, you guys don't have a, uh, Sweet. a hostage this time. But they did, they'd be right there. And you just have to come and kill the uh, main bad guy. They're dead. We win. The end. Alright, so there's more bad guys, but we don't even have to worry about that because we did. We killed the one important one. I'm just grabbing some extra junk because I had to happen to be here. And we'll tell him we did it. Uh oh, do they have enough beds here? Did I not build? No, I built beds for them. She was just, uh, always sleeps over there because cause she has that bed. Hey, wake up. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. All right, we did it. Hey. What is it? What now? Say Warwick. Hey. What do you- Hey there, what's up? Give me a quest. What are you thinking about? I'm glad we found each other. I hope you know that. No, never mind. No problem? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh... I need something, man. This is Radio Freedom. Reports have been coming in from all over the Commonwealth, and I can confirm the Brotherhood airship has been destroyed. It seems the Institute was able to turn the Brotherhood's own technology against it. We have reliable reports that it was Liberty Prime, the Brotherhood's giant war machine, that fired the shots that brought down the Bridwin. I think everyone can appreciate the irony there. The people of the Commonwealth have always been wary of the Institute, with good reason. But in this case, at least, I think we owe them thanks for eliminating the Brotherhood threat to the Commonwealth. Yeah, everyone hates those damn vertebrates. Um, so I guess the game is thinking right now, and uh, maybe if we, like, sleep or something, then we can get more quests, but we basically tap them out and they won't give us any. So I guess I'll just build, like, a bed for myself, which, as a, uh, survi survival player, I have to sleep in these kind of beds. All right. Something's happening. Defend the castle. Okay. Oops. Well, that sucks. I think we have auto saves on. Hopefully the quest pops up again. Yeah, I don't think the castle has like any defenses, but it's always hard to defend it. It's like a big fort. We had to put the uh, fast travel place closer. <laughs> so what I usually do here and uh, I guess I'll just do it anyway. Uh, normally I would do this if, like, we were gonna be attacked by the Institute for that ending. They almost attack the, uh, castle, and it's called Defend the Castle. But I think this is just a generic Defend the Castle. But basically I'll fix up all these walls, and I'll put turrets all around. But the thing to know in a generic Defend the Castle is they come down this way, uh, they spawn over there, and they come this way. Or they'll spawn over there, and they'll come that way. But if you patch up the holes in the walls, then they have to come through this door, which you can defend very heavily. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Attention Minutemen, news has come to us of a settlement that needs our help. If you are in the area, please respond. Nordhagen, okay. Yeah, so usually I do this in flat with, um, place anywhere, <clears throat> so I can get the things where I want them. But honestly, this is good enough. All you have to do is, um, you know, screw up their nav mesh so they can't use it, basically. Yeah, and if I had place anywhere, I could put this here, but it's not letting me. But it doesn't matter, because you can't walk there. So they'd be able to shoot us, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, they can't walk there, they can't walk there. Just gotta patch that one up. And of course, you don't have to use concrete. This is Radio Freedom with a breaking report but it makes from sense. the castle. We have enemy forces moving on our position at the castle. Right now? I wasn't All done. All available Minutemen in the area, please move in to reinforce. Uh, I wasn't done. They should have waited. Incoming <laughs> attackers from the northwest. Well, I don't think they can get in now. Yeah, I didn't power up those turrets. Oh, it's, uh, Super Muties. You can hear them on the other side of the wall. Alright, so, like, um, electrical, uh, connector, this one. Alright, here we go! And, uh... Incoming attackers from the southwest. What? Hello? You can't move. Stop it. Alright, and then, uh... These will only work if you actually... Place them again. Are you kidding me? Incoming attackers from the southwest. 
Uh, the wire was too long. It didn't work. Alright, well, I need to, uh, make this wire longer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't have my, uh, big gun. I'm working on the uh, thingy. All right. So we need like one of these. We put this here. Yes. All right, and then put another one. Uh, well, probably just up there is fine. What's that? All right, and then from the southwest. Yeah, like that. Of course, they're, um... Incoming attack. Here we go. Legendary. Guard is so annoying. Alright, so now, uh, I can put Incoming these... Incoming attackers from the southwest. It's still too far away, really? I believe it. That is really close. Okay. Uh, put it put it up higher, I guess. All right, you'd think that would work. It's really not very far away. Huh? I guess I have to do like this. Cut that out. I got the, um, get more money perk. Oh, and I have a, a mod. So, like, when I do get, when they explode as caps, it goes right in my pocket. Because somebody thought it was wrong that you had to go pick them up. Normally, you have to go pick them up. I can't believe this doesn't work. Um. And also, I can't believe that they decided to just do it on their own without, uh, me talking to anyone. Right. Okay, certainly that's close enough. It still doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? What? Who's there? Hmm. Let's play. They have power, right? This thing works. Um, right? Uh. Oh. oh. I think something's up. Don't all be a good boy. We broke him. Okay, now that um everyone's dead. Huh. They won't be back anytime soon. It was a tough fight. Yeah. I knew the men and men were up to the challenge. It's running away. Oh, that's great. So like, uh, something is out there. I don't have any of my big guns because I wasn't planning on doing any big fights. All right. Uh, so now, if we get attacked, now that All I'm done right, building defenses, people. that was a tough fight, but we came through it. You can be proud of how you handled yourself. Today. They can't get through here. We don't have time to sit around congratulating. That ourselves. was stupid as hell. We're the Minutemen. Gold, darn it. And that means we've always got to be ready for the next fight. 
Let's get back to it, people. So, do I have to talk to you or something? Got a minute? We sure showed them what happens when this you mess with the Minutemen. I've got it from here, General. I don't think economy. anyone's going to be testing our we metal again anytime soon. Dispersing. Well, that was stupid. We'll now return to our normal broadcasting. Keep those dials set to Radio Freedom. Uh, so basically, they can't get through this way. And they can't get through this way. But it doesn't matter. They'll still gather right here. And your guys will still, uh, shoot at them from here, so they'll stay here. And it's all just really stupid. And, um, yeah, I don't care about this. Nordhagen. I don't want to listen to this stupid music. This is where all the water comes from. You're with the Minutemen, right? Yep. The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls is holed up nearby. And some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. We'll do it. I'm on it. All right, it's National Guard. Done. Got it. Glad to have. Uh huh. Yep. But the uh, the bad one is the one in here, so we'll go there. Help defend the checkpoint. Well, I guess. But I'm already doing this. It's dead. The end. They're still here. Screw these things. Where's the checkpoint? You gonna crash right on top of me? Screw you and screw any survivors. Where's the checkpoint? I mean, if you're fighting over here, you're basically screwed because county crossing is right here and they have lots of guns. Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Hello? I can't uh, talk to him. I'm okay. I knew you would help us. Good. Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Yeah, but I can't say so. Hey there, friend. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. The Minutemen are always welcome around here. I sure hope you can help us with those ghouls. Don't worry. That's what the Minutemen are here for. Thanks for agreeing to help. Yeah, I agreed to help. I'm done helping. Can we say so? Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Yes, but I can't uh, say it. All right, um, this is broken. Can I fast travel here again and it'll fix it? Were you able to clear out those ghouls? Uh, this doesn't work. Uh, I guess I'll switch to flat. Yeah, and um, this stuff is so repetitive. We might do the rest of it in flat. Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? Well, that's great news. Hey. What do you need? Hi. What do you need, babe? Oh, nothing. No problem. I guess we should do the Adam and Cat's quest. I'm sure it doesn't uh, actually end with you uh, getting access to the Warwicks, to their workbench, but it is something you can do. It is adjacent. They just say hello to the Adam Cats and they tell you to uh, defend them from the gunners. They'll just steal all their junk first. He knows we. Where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. Adam Cat? You know. The Atom Cats! The coolest power armor gang in the Commonwealth? Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the Cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. Sure. Yeah, now we're cooking! Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Yeah, I think I have all the best stuff already. But we'll talk to Rowdy. And uh, she is over here. I saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? Here to help. Tops. From the looks of it? I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants old Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. 
I have what it takes. We'll see. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of work for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Yep. Junie. Alright, well, go in here. Do something with this. That's done. Talk to June. Excuse me. I saw you working in the pump shed over there. No, you didn't. Are you with the Adam Cats? Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe this someday Radio this will Freedom, do the farm the some good. The, the Adam Man. Cats have been it's such a great help to us. All you must be hungry. Here, Stay take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. Rowdy. Oh, all done? <laughs> yep. You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. That June is a doll, and her Myler cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats Don't won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So she had the skills to spiff up the Warwick All pump. Quiet. <laughs> she would wrestle like her Jimmy's with something Stay else. Um, something exploded. What the fuck going on? Oh, this guy. What? Oh, he's legendary, so you can't, uh, doesn't light up. Gunners! Wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits! Yep. Ho 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 ho! You slay! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight. And a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked Nothing up with a little report. discount around here. Stay safe, yeah. people. Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Cat's jacket. Wear it well, Jack. So I guess that's all we can do here. Um, because we are actually friendly with the Institute, then I think we can just do it from inside. I guess we should do that. I guess uh, Preston should be wearing combat armor. Yeah, I guess we'd be better off if he's using one of their guns, too. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what else to do. We'll just head back to the Institute. And uh, if we do that, it should work fine in VR. So heading back to VR. Alright, so let's head back to the Institute. And stop listening to this stupid radio. And I guess we have to head into bioscience and talk to someone here, someone that with a name, unless they're still what in the uh, about? conference room. Say, Who are you talking to? Um, I think he's not here because he's in the conference room because uh, we were supposed to do a different quest. So I think I have to do this next. And it's nighttime and I'm tired. Where's my bed even? Oh, but we can just do this. Hello, Sean. Ah. Uh. There you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now. Yes, but... Low frames. There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me, you can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Yep. I'll do my best. I know you will. Don't worry about me. 
You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams, I think. I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped, I could find my family. Cheap time, make us whole again, the way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. The road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know more. War never changes. Um, are we done? Are you going to roll credits? I'm just going to stand here the whole time and read them. All right, well, I think I had to skip. Okay, so that's the official uh, end of the game, but uh, we're not stopping. So... So Sean is dead, and that's fine. And I guess I have to do this? I can't sleep in your bed. Can I sleep in your old bed? Did you ever have another bed? No, you never did. All right. Yeah, my frames have gone to shit. And uh, I think it's because of this um this mod I'm using that like uh, it's supposed to reproject uh, or upscale the game from a lower resolution, but half the time it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, then uh, <laughs> I just need to uh, set the game Custom resolution, it should be about uh, 60% or 70% because then we would at least get the performance when the mod wasn't working. But I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes. It seems like the only way to get it to work is to reboot the computer and like it'll work at first. But if you close the game and start it again, then it doesn't work and performance goes to hell. But I'm kind of done faffing around with this for now and I feel like we've done quite a few things already. So I'm going to cut this episode here and next time hopefully we'll figure out what it is we need to do to get all the settlements. And then once we have all the settlements, yeah, then we'll do Far Harbor. So cutting it here. If you're watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.